so much right now on WIS News at six, a man accused of murdering a Richland County man will stay behind bars after bond was denied. 27 year old Morgan Duncan was last seen on November 28th of last year at his home at the Springfield Apartments. 41 year old Eric Green and 28 year old Jolivia Waller were arrested and charged in Duncan's death. Uh, so Jalen, walk us through the reaction in the courtroom today. I know you had an opportunity to speak with some folks there after bond was denied. That's right, Judy and Greg. There was a lot of emotions in the courtroom today after the bond hearing concluded for Morgan Duncan. And I was get, got a chance to speak with Morgan Duncan's mom after the bond hearing was over. And she says that the fight for justice is far from over for her son. I still need to bring my son home, which is important to me. These were the words that Latanza Duncan expressed after hearing a Richland County judge deny bond for 41-year-old Eric Green, who was charged with the murder of Duncan's 27-year-old son, Morgan Duncan. I wish he would have been able to accomplish some of the things that he wanted to in life. He, like I said, he was one of only a few high school students that got a fellowship to MUSC in pharmacy, and he went on to USC to major in pharmacy, but because of the schizophrenia, was unable to complete his studies. On Monday, Green entered the Richland County Courthouse in a blue Alvin S. Glenn jumpsuit with cuffs on his wrists and ankles. The Richland County Sheriff's Department reported that Duncan was last seen at his home on Spring Tree Drive on November 28th of last year. State prosecutors said during the hearing that Green is a danger to the community and to the Duncan family who were asking for his bond to be denied. Green's public defender asked for a reasonable bond, claiming the suspect is a family man who is supporting two children. Green was given a chance to speak in court where he said he was not at Springtree Apartments during the time Duncan was reported missing. These charges that they got on me right here, I was never at his residence. I was never at his residence when somebody accused and, and the girl that we found out was living, we never, we don't even know her. So they accused me of all of these charges, all around kidnapping, and I was never at the residence. They but Duncan's mother disagrees. I felt like he wasn't being honest, but we're dealing with someone that is violent, that has no regard for life, so the expectation wasn't for him to have some miraculous uh, change of heart, but what I do know is that we as a community have to stand strong so that we can protect people like Morgan who are vulnerable. Now, earlier today, I did reach out to RCSD for an update to the investigation, and they tell me that Duncan is still considered a missing person and his body has not yet been found. Reporting in the newsroom, Jalen Tart, WIS News 10. All right, Jalen, thank you very much for that update. Meanwhile, Julivia Waller is the second suspect.